Good morning. Welcome back to the show. Well, in today's job segments, we are finding all about computer graphics. Lots of interesting opportunities, actually, in this domain. And joining me is an instructor at Rosebound Technology, Fred Marcel. Welcome to the show, Fred. Thank you so much. Thanks okay, so me. I'm going to start with the most basic of basics questions. Um, what is computer graphics? Yeah, well, computer graphics is actually, I guess, what separates us from uh, fine arts would be that uh, we have to produce something for any types of employer, whether they need a logo, mm -hmm. like a magazine, we are there to produce promotional pieces, whatever they are, websites and uh, everything else. I mean, obviously, because it's done on the computer, you think this is a job for someone who is very tech savvy, which I'm sure you need, but there's this other side of it, which is actually really creative. Definitely. Uh, imagination is key, having a good eye, but actually a lot of people are scared because they're not necessarily good at drawing, and mm. that's actually something that I haven't done myself for probably the last 20 years. Okay, So everything we do is on the computer. Sometimes it's just uh, taking images somewhere, mixing them with a nice font, and uh, basically that's why having a good eye to me is the number one quality that yeah, you, you need. You said it, so having a good eye and having uh, imagination. Definitely. Okay, very interesting. So what exactly do students learn uh, in the course? Uh, I guess the main uh, softwares would be the ones from Adobe, whether it's uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, mm -hmm. InDesign, uh, Dreamweaver. Uh, the main Adobe suite is uh, key. Uh, also, basically taking an idea based like from nothing to develop it to a full finished product. Actually, we even see the printing end of it, which is uh, pretty interesting as yeah, well. Yeah, well, because my next question was, you know, how are students taught this? And obviously, it's just a lot of hands-on uh, jobs. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. the government uh, recently updated our program of studies, so uh, we have more photography than before, more web, so just to cater to of uh, to today's needs because mm -hmm. uh, printing's going down a little bit but it will never disappear I mean every time you go grocery shopping everything you pick up even an orange has a little label on it and yeah. that has been printed so basically it's still there uh, we are competency based so it's one module at a time six hours a day uh, we learn one subject and then after let's say 100 hours another teacher will come in and uh, teach something else. So from uh, the start to finished products, it's uh, very interesting. Sounds really interesting. I think I would, hmm. I would like this course, <laughs> Fred. Um, um, finally, what, what careers do students actually pursue after taking this course? Uh, yeah, they could be in uh, ad agencies, uh, studio design. A lot of companies now have, uh, now have uh, in-house studios. So basically we had students now just working for Aldo, Puma. They, have their, they need their own designers now. So really? uh, that's something like that. Web design. Also, the great thing about us is that our tool is not so expensive. Actually, everybody owns one, a computer, so actually you could do freelance from home as well to have uh, extra income. Like, uh, it's easy to have clients online now and uh, well, that's work. An work. That's, you know, it's interesting you say because a lot more people are looking for that option to be able to work from home. Definitely. So. And very interesting. Okay, Fred Marcel, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so for much. teaching us more about computer graphics.